I think for a lot of young athletes, nerves and anxiety is something that we fear and it sort of makes us think, oh, I'm nervous, I'm not feeling good, I can't do well today. I'm here to tell you that's not the case. That's just your body saying that you actually do care. Any level of uncertainty plus a level of care is going to bring on some sort of anxiety or nerves or worries. That's absolutely normal and absolutely okay. And the reason I got you guys to do that exercise at the start was to show you that everyone's going through the same things you guys are going through. It's normal. It's a human response. But how you deal with it is up to you. How you, whether you learn to manage your emotions and learn to manage your thoughts and practice it and work on those six pillars, not just your technique. I think, having seen lots and lots of great sports people, that is what will determine how good you become. Not, you can be, I, I get messages to our Instagram account and I see people all the time who say, I'm the best in the nets, I'm really good in the nets, I'm good at training, but I just can't score runs or I can't do it in a game. And that's because when you're training, there's no pressure. There's no consequences. You can miss a shot, miss a goal, get out, whatever, and you can just keep going. As Soon as there's consequences, where there's people watching or the game's on the line, there's pressure. And those that understand how to deal with their thoughts and their emotions around that pressure, they're the ones who are successful. They're the ones who take the game-winning shot like LeBron. They're the ones who want the ball in the big moments. And they're the ones who get paid the big bucks and make a career out of it. Those that can't manage their thoughts and emotions, unfortunately, might have one or two good days a year, a season, but that's not going to make a career. The best players, the ones that can get to their peak performance more consistently are the ones that manage their thoughts and emotion, and they combine that with a really good physical sort of capability and good technical and tactical skills and awareness. And this is something I didn't understand when I was younger. I didn't understand. I hit a lot of cricket balls. I tried hard. I worked hard. But I had no idea that my mind and my emotions were holding me back. And like I said, some days I'd be excellent, but that was a fluke. I didn't understand what I needed to do to get in that state mentally, physically, and emotionally. If I performed well, it was just a fluke. And then the next day I'd be a bit nervous or a bit anxious or not slept well, or, and I wouldn't perform well. And then... Four weeks later, I might feel good again and I'd go all right. Whereas if I, if I knew what I know now and what I'm teaching you guys now or saying to you guys now, I think I would have been a much better player at your age and, and beyond. So I'm going to wrap up shortly, but my final sort of few things are in sport and in life, there's no shortcuts to success. I've seen, I do, a pod, I do two podcasts, I'm friends with Steve Smith and a few really, really good cricketers and spoken to many sort of elite athletes and listened to podcasts of successful people all over the world, I've never heard a story where someone is an overnight success. If you want to be great in anything, you might be in this room, but it might be uh, you want to be a musician or an actor or an artist. If you want to be great in anything, there are no shortcuts to success. You have to put in the work. You have to turn up day after day and grind. And every single day, you're just focusing on getting better. There's no such thing as perfect. Steve Smith spoke recently about he still thinks he's going to get better. He trains hard because every day he wants to get better. And the best athletes, whether it's Tiger Woods, Roger Federer, the greatest of all time, they always talk about getting better. They don't talk about how good they are now or that they've mastered the game. And that's what I think you guys need to adopt as, an, as a mantra or an attitude or a mindset is how do I get better today? How do I get better in all six pillars today? Because there are no shortcuts to success. One of my final things, and you guys are so lucky, you're sitting here, you're young, you've got your lives ahead of you. And whatever you decide to do, whatever, wherever you decide to sort of put your attention, put your energy, put your time, that's going to determine how good you become in that field, in life. For me, as I've gotten older, I've started to realise that time is our most valuable resource. Use your time wisely. We will never get yesterday back or any other day that has passed. And for you young aspiring athletes, there might only be one in this room or there might be all of you who want to play at a high level or you want to do something great in this world. 
I promise you that if you're not, when you're not working or trying to get better, if you're not studying for your exams, you're not trying to get better, someone else is. And they're going to be more successful than you ultimately because there's no prizes, there's no one's handed anything in this life. It's how much you put in is, will determine how much you get out. So you've got to put in the work and use your time wisely. And, and for me, I'm really, really lucky that for the last 10 years I've done something I've loved. I've played cricket professionally overseas. Um, now I get to coach cricket professionally. I get to travel the world. I go all over the world to coach and mentor athletes. And I, I'm really, really fortunate and grateful for what I do. But it's not through chance. It's not through luck. It's through a lot of hard work and chasing my dreams. I grew up in Alice Springs in the middle of Australia. And there was no pathway to play cricket for Australia. There was no pathway to play professionally. But that didn't stop me from chasing my dreams. And I was very fortunate that my, my family and the people around me supported me. Not all of us have that privilege. Some of us have parents or, or friends or whatever that pull us down and say, you're not good enough, you're not going to make it. But the only person's opinion that truly matters in the long term is your own. You've got to chase your dreams because you'll, you'll get to my age, you'll get to 32 and older, your parents' age, and you'll look back and think, what if? I wish I'd gone harder. I wish I'd given it a crack. Because I know everyone that I know that hasn't made it, but has tried their best, they're okay. They're content. They don't have any regrets. The ones that were pretty good got to a bit older and think, I just wish I'd tried a bit harder. I'd got caught up doing other things. I could have done more. They're the ones that, they're bitter. They regret things. You can never turn your, your life back. So my advice to you young people, whether it's cricket, netball, football, music, studies, science, Chase your dreams. Have a crack. And if you set big goals, you just don't know where you're going to get to. And back yourself and enjoy the process. We all chase goals, we chase achievements, but it's the process that really matters. It's the day-to-day -day grind, it's the getting up early and going to the gym, it's going for runs, it's, it's practicing on your own. It's all the little things that you've got to learn to enjoy because if you don't enjoy it, you're going to end up giving up at some point. You've got to enjoy the process and the results look after themselves. The dreams and goals look after themselves if you just continue to grind and work day after day, week after week, year after year. So that's pretty much it for me, guys. I think we're nearly finished. I'm happy to take any questions from the group or you can come up and have a chat after. Um, if you enjoyed this, uh, if you want to follow us, we've got, like I showed you, we've got our Instagram account, Cricket Mentoring. We've got a YouTube channel, Cricket Mentoring. I've got two podcasts that I host, uh, the Cricket Mentoring Podcast, and another one uh, that might be relevant for a lot of you guys is Under the Lid, uh, and that's where we talk about mental skills for athletes. We don't fo focus just on cricket. Um, and then we've got some articles and newsletters on our website and so forth, lots of free resources to help athletes become their best. So, guys, thank you very much for your time. You've been a great audience. I really appreciate your attention. Um, I hope you having have a great day today, and... Um, my final message is just chase your dreams and have a crack. Thank you. Any questions? Does anyone want to ask a question in front of the group? Um, what are some strategies?